hey, hey, hey. Let's get some messages here for Sag. Sag, Sag, Sag. These energies are interchangeable. Kings can be queens and vice versa. Tarot is timeless. So please do not forget these are the events that have already happened that are currently taking place or that can unfold for some of you. Sag is here in the near future. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. If any part of this message resonates to you, with you, for you. I'm hoping it does for some of you, most of you, possibly all of you. I just got that card twice. It's crazy, though, because I did the Okay, all right. I did the pre-show. I'm going to get you guys one more card from here. And I got that thoughts card. It popped right out. It was the only card. And as I'm going into the message and getting ready to prep myself up, you know. It's like it's back. And I'm looking, it seems some of these cards here are facing the wrong way, but um, all right, all right, <laughs> I like that. Hey, man, look at this, that's crazy. Okay, clearly somebody in separation from a marriage. You could even have filed divorce papers or be in a divorce court of some sort, or this is you or your person. The messages is here, period. <laughs> You can't make that up. What's at the bottom? Main mail. Mm -hmm. So there is a main mail somewhere in the picture here for you, Sag, that has a love on the brain. Maybe is obsessed with you. This person could even be stalking you or your social media because whatever they're doing, they are most definitely watching you. You're in their thoughts. Maybe you could kind of have that um, effect on them where you are the first person they think about when they wake up in the morning. You could even be the last person that they think about before they go to bed at night. We're going to clarify some of these energies. Something involving a court proceeding. Something with, wow, ha, ha, with litigation. I'm seeing here, yeah, King of Swords. This person is very upset with you. What did you do to them, Sag? <laughs> Page of Pentacles, wanting a new start, wanting to come in with an offer here. I feel like this person cut you off or you could have possibly cut them off, but they're very analytical, very, um, Person could even be overthinking too, too, with thoughts here with the King of Swords here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, energy on the table. So far, Spirit, what else do we have? What else do we have? Okay, <laughs> Seven of Pentacles. So it's about a investment here. Um, with the Seven of Pentacles here, the vibe and the energy I get with these cards is telling me that this is something or someone that you have made investments with, that you spent a nice amount of time with here. Um, you guys could be reflecting on investments made in the past, on things that you've put into the connection here. It's like, let me let my window down, sorry. My oldest kid is outside cutting the grass for mama, she should. Wow. Okay, seven of swords. Woo! They snaked you, they lied, they cheated, they manipulated. They could have even stolen something from you. Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. Spirit, what else do we have? You cannot call me while I'm doing my reading. Please, that's my kid. Guys, I may have to pause this for a second. I always shuffle when I come back. Give me one second, please. Yeah, she definitely needed me out there. So I'm sitting here in my robe, as you guys see. How she was in the robe. Blue toenails, gray fingernails, but that ain't none of your business. None ya. So let's keep going here. More information. So what I've picked up on, <laughs> by the way, what I've picked up on in this reading, and I did not intentionally do this, it's the way I'm being pulled, it's the way my energy is being dragged here. This is your person side, Sag. If you do resonate more for this side, for some of you, for those of you that need to make that swap, please go ahead and do so. But for the majority of you, this is going to be your person's side. This is going to be your side. All right. What do we have for Sag? On Sag's side, your person is reflecting on the investments made, on the things that they've done and how they cut you off. They could be very cold and aloof to you or could have been in the past. For your current energy. Let's get some more cards. You got Page of Pentacles. With the Page of Pentacles too, I do see here that you could be dealing with someone that breadcrumbed you. Wow, there we go. Oh yeah, give them to me. Give them to me. That's how I like it, huh? There we go. 
Okay, so we have Nine of Swords and Four of Wands. Oh, look at you, Sage. You missed that love. Hey, you ain't wrong for it. We like what we like. Period. <laughs> Five of Swords on your side. <laughs> so they left you with a feeling of resentment, feeling real bitter like towards this person here with the moon card there's a lot of secrets here there's feelings and emotions that are very very high around this person and regarding this person here i do feel that you guys have a very um deep connection here um very empathic energy here with this moon card it could be that for you on your side here it could be your person as well but i'm taking this for you that um you could be getting advice from your mother someone that serves as like a mother figure to you it could even be father some type of maternal um energy here and this could have something to do with your kids too um, with the moon energy which is a cancerian card so it rules your house your home and um where you live, where you belong, the places that you want to add and create value to and make your own, you know, home energy. It could also um, have something to do with someone working in construction or real estate or something of that sort. With this energy, with the major arcana of this energy, you guys, I'm digging deep into this because I don't want to leave no stones on the turn. We're giving you your reading and that's what it is. I've seen the full card there. We'll see if it comes back. Your energy is speaking volumes here. Five of swords. And look at this. Got you in the background just looking a muck, looking a mess while they stand nearby them swords. <laughs> the ones that they know they've been carrying in any damn way, right? <laughs> Revealing themselves. It's like they're being messy here and they're going to be getting caught up in their own skit, you know? With the moon here, it's about things being... Things that are going to eventually make their way to you. You know, with these secrets here, the thing about it is they will be illuminated, right? <laughs> What's done in the dark will come to light, I like to say, with that energy. And it's definitely showing you in the cards here something to that effect. This person has done a lot to you. I see here that they will do or fuck over anyone, including you, to get their way. This is someone who does not play well with others. And for the most part, probably doesn't give a fuck about it what it is for your person's side sagis i'm going to get some clarity for that <laughs> um sudden wealth card i'm going to do a whole different deck too for that one i want to know what's going on with that the imprint okay yeah with this energy here of the imprint let me cut and get some more cards for you guys i'm going to get a couple on your side a couple on your personal side for your person we have the imprint two of pentacles Ten of Pentacles, yeah, this is definitely family ties. This is somebody you were married with, someone you were in a um, common um, law marriage with, someone that you share deep bonds and connections with, and you even have kids with this person for some of you. Um, Ace of Swords. You need that clarity. That's what you want from your person. You want them to keep it real, to directly communicate. You also need to set boundaries in a situation, but you got some powerful, powerful epiphanies coming your way here. I'm seeing here that you may even be coming up with new creative ways and ideas to, if you want it, for those of you that do want to get back with this person, Eight of Cups in Reverse. <laughs> did I do that on purpose or did it come out that way? Well, the Eight of Cups in Reverse is telling me, for a lot of you, that you may lack um, the will or ambition to leave this person here. Maybe they have a hold on you or some type of pull on you that even though you know you should walk away and leave this person, you know that already. You've been told this by family, by friends, by your mother, by their mother. Even some of their family members are telling you like, you know what? <laughs> You're better than, um, and, and so on and so forth. That's the energy that's here with the four of wands. Well, some of you guys, I don't like to throw around that twin flame word a lot, but, um, you share a definite legacy with this person here and this is someone that could have come from money that could have money old money can be coming into money or making some type of huge investment that is going to land you guys financially um in the financial jackpot type of um experience so congratulations good luck there with that i also feel that with the inference shown here on your person side and in their energy that this is someone that sees your worth and value they know that you're very attractive and creative they know that you are a person that's very creative you know that you make a really good wife you make a really good mother to your children for those of you that have children um and if this is a male energy for some of you guys you know energy is interchangeable here it can just be that they just really really see um that 
part of you that wants to nurture, that wants to grow, that wants to expansion here. And the Empress is very abundant with the Empress energy. Um, she's very magnetic, very attractive, right? And with the Empress, she does not chase or pursue. She simply attracts, period, right? She embodies the energy of all the queens in the deck. So he sees that you are um, a woman of style, class, grace, and um, you wear it really well. Nine of Cups. <laughs> Who's drinking? Ace of Cups. Queen of Swords is here. Both of you guys are very intellectual here. Look at this. The King and the Queen of Swords. Baby, baby, baby. Yes. Period. So, you guys could even be like um, a lawyer couple here. Some work somewhere in a court of law. Somewhere around litigation where you're handling cases all day. Could even be an officer. Um, but you guys are very analytical thinkers here. <laughs> this is a very... Um, this type of situation where um, you guys could either argue a lot or there's a lot of arguing and tension going on right now um, with the Empress. She has her sword pointed downwards like she's done. Like um, she doesn't have time for this. And with the King of Swords here, he's not done. This, this person is far from done here, you know, ready to go at it again, ready to keep coming back and forth with the shits. And um, the Queen of Swords here, she is just so sick and tired of it sick and tired of being sick and tired she chooses to put that sword down and not let it make her better she lets it make her better and she walks into this beautiful empress kind of energy here this is finding your worth knowing your worth or your value and not letting anyone around you depreciate that within you way to go what it leads to is your most happiest wish fulfillment moment a type of energy some of you guys it could have led to some drinking as well or for your person but ace of cups that's new love it's a renewal of love but it can also be self-love because love is not just a relationship with one person love is a way of life with all living beings and i see that in your energy it is here for you for the 777 card do i want to use these little babies <laughs> use this one and i think my daughter has my other favorite favorite little minis Woo, she's so irritating for you other readers y'all know how it is about touching cards this one oh she touches my cards she touches my cards <laughs> okay we got two right away four of rods four of wands again confirmation for that and i said i was getting clarity for you guys with that sudden wealth card so some investments are about to pay off get ready to celebrate oh my look at that ten of pentacles 777 wealth some of you guys could even be coming into like a lottery winning some type of inheritance um something passed down to you that could even be the case here as well hmm like if someone left you on their will or something like that. So, you know, things are tied up in the courts right now. Um, it, that could be the litigation. It could be that. So. Any more messages before I get into some? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I see you. Okay, Pentacles. That part. <laughs> yeah. Can we dealing with A. Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or any sign. It doesn't matter. Ace of Swords and Strength. So communication is key. It's going to take every ounce and bit of your inner spiritual strength to be able to properly, properly articulate compromise come up with a way if you have kids with this person or a family you have to have a way to communicate with the person that you know is taking care of your kids half the time or is in your kids life you don't have to like them they don't have to be your favorite person but there does need to be some type of balance there that you can get along enough to make sure that the kids are good you know so that you can trust your person when they're not with you or around you and that they can do the same with you you know let's embody the highest vibration of all again love is a way of life with all living beings okay so that's that's that Psychic Tarot Oracle. What other information would you like to add for Sagittarius? Some truths are going to be spoken. Ooh, we and with the Ace of Swords here, with the strength, it's like once you have this heart to heart conversation and uh, communicate what you need, um, then you know things are going to be okay. It's going to work out for you. Beautiful recognition and rewards. Somebody is either getting a lot of attention here. Um, you're going to blow up your YouTube channel. You're going to be getting a lot of subscribers here. Something that you put a lot of work into. May have even wanted to give up at some point, but you did it. It's like now you're able to enjoy the fruits of your labor. Sagi, Sagi, Sagi. 
Oh, okay. And I think we got a flipper. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. My lovely, lovely, lovelies. Look at that. I do be liking to look <laughs> at that bottom of that next card for some. So we have Solar Plexus Chakra. Partnerships and alliances and spiritual strength. The strength keeps popping up for you guys. So, you know what it's all about. Being strong. And um, some of you guys could be dealing with the Leo as well. That energy is here. But let me get the solar plexus. For me, right from the book, um, this one comes up quite a bit. And I do know what I would like to say about it. But I like to get it from the book as well for you guys sometimes. The solar plexus chakra is located between the navel area, just below the rib cage. It represents power, vitality, willpower, self-esteem, and confidence. Huh? What? That part. <laughs> Strength. Yeah. That's the solar plexus card, but I'm just saying how these energies show up here, and um, wow, that's kind of like the imprints to me. <laughs> that energy, it did just describe the imprints, you know. So, the energy center where your emotions and feelings are recorded. This chakra is associated with clairsentience, inner feeling, which is the major psychic reception area, right? Okay, so to balance it, try yoga, dance, movement, and breathe, you know, breath work things like that if you want to get that chakra more aligned it's here for you <laughs> energy oracle so the one i'm going to title this video get energy oracle and energies and we have around my sagis for this tarot card reading So yeah guys don't forget like share subscribe there are channel memberships if you guys would like to join the world with the seven of pentacles twice with the ten of pentacles with the imprints abundance expansion growth and sudden wealth some of you guys i'm just gonna tell you now i'm your biggest fan congratulations man y'all finna blow up here your name is meant to be in a common household name whoever you are whatever you're doing my 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 you did that <laughs> You did that, huh? That part, yes. Okay. So if you're attracting some of these people back into your life from the past, um, you're probably going, goddess of the moon, somebody's doing ritual work, spell work, it's here, cornucopia, oh my. I'm gonna read that cornucopia for you guys. So let me get this right from the book. Cornucopia card 11. That's what's up. We got four of wands twice. This could even be a twin flame for some of you guys. It's here. And then we got the number 11 for Cornucopia. So we got a lot of 11s here. A lot of portals opening up for you. Energetic portals that are coming through here. Try doing some moon um, work. Maybe some moon rituals here. It can only help you with this energy you have. I think you're going to be okay though. An abundant harvest. <laughs> my, my, my. Harvest, do you say? Well, I was just thinking about that harvest that's just about ready for you, okay? Enjoying the fruits of your labor, or soon will be. And great blessings are awaiting for you, Sag. And you may even find all of your wishes fulfilled. <laughs> Wish fulfillment, Ace of Cups, that's what's up, okay? Here we go. This cornucopia of gifts from the universe can come in the form of financial riches, job fulfillment, romantic love, or all of the above. When you receive the cornucopia upright, you know that you've done important work and it's about to pay off. The seeds you've planted in your energy and in your life are ready to be harvested in some significant ways. Get ready for a great feast of abundant value. It's being prepared for you now. And Spirit is applauding all of your effort. <laughs> I am too. Congratulations. That's what's up. Think of Spirit elevating you, putting you above the rest. It doesn't matter where you started at in this journey. Whatever you're doing, it, uh, you could start last and still finish first. And that's your energy that's coming through for me. It's paying off here. It is time. The seeds you have planted. It is time to get harvest time. You know, period. It is what it is. Beautiful. Let's get romance angels. See what's coming in for love with this nine of cups and ace of cups. That's a wish fulfillment in love. But you already know you're going to have to walk away from that situation that don't serve you first with that other person. With that eight of cups in reverse. Because you have not. Some of you have not. Or just, you know, don't possess the will or strength to be able to. So, Romance Angels. What do we have for my Sagis? Whoa. <laughs> okay. 
We got a jumper. Separation. I ain't playing with y'all. Spirit is my thing. <laughs> Separation. Walk away. <laughs> Baby, you can leave. You can leave. You can leave. Jagged edge. That's my shit. Okay. Love yourself first. Oh. And soulmate. With the king and queen of swords, that energy with the soulmate card is telling me that for you, your potential partner um, that's coming in for you guys, for some of you, could just be someone that's very, very smart, very sharp. Um, a very intellectual connection here. You know, lots of, lots of enlightening conversation here around this person. So yes, this is your soulmate. Energy is here, and I'm going to take one more. Engagement. <laughs> huh? We talked about that in the very beginning, and it's back. Some of you guys with that Ace of Cups, marriage, thoughts, judication. Somebody has an engagement coming up. Oh, there it is. But you got to love yourself first, right? Your love life has ascended to a higher level of commitment. Love yourself first. Know your worth because <laughs> the Empress knows her worth. Stop settling for less and don't let anyone come in and break from you. And if you ever have to argue with someone about your worth and your place in their life, they don't belong in yours. Just remember that. Okay, I hope someone got what they needed. Thank you all so much. Don't forget if you need a personal private reading, all of that information will be listed down below in the description box of how to get in contact with me for that reading. Thank you so much. Namaste.